Yo, yo, what's good, y'all? It's your boy, Fro. And today, I'm going to be talking about the 2006 video game, Dead Rising, the first. Ain't nothing to it, but to do it. We follow Frank West as our protagonist. He's an investigative journalist that travels via helicopter to Willamette, Colorado. After having a chat while taking some photos of the overrun city, the helicopter drops him off at a rooftop of a zombie-infested mall. Ultimately, Frank goes on a quest to uncover the truth about the origin of the apocalypse. My personal thoughts, I love this game wholeheartedly, but I will admit that I do have a nostalgic bias with it. I remember having this game given to me as a gift when it came out in 2006. The trailer freaked me out as a kid, but I was heavily interested. And I've always been a zombie fanatic ever since I was around 7 years old. So anything zombie related, movies, games, I was going to check out. Despite how slow the zombies can be in the gameplay here, there's that classic George A. Romero feeling of how deadly they can be in large numbers. Talking about the characters, I always thought Frank was a pretty cool protagonist. Rather level-headed and likable, especially when it comes to moments like rescuing survivors and fighting off some rather grotesque bosses in the game. I would say my second favorite character in the game would be Brad. At first, he may come across as very grumpy and standoffish, but proves to be very helpful to Frank as the game travels on. I enjoyed the moments where Frank and Brad would cover each other in the line of fire. I would say Carlito is the main antagonist of the game, and I do enjoy the character. He does piss me off during the gun battles, but spoilers for anybody that hasn't finished the game or hasn't played it and is interested in the story, I will admit that Carlito's death did mess me up on my first playthrough, and it actually did make me a tiny bit sympathetic for him with just the way he went out, despite being the main antagonist. Very brutal, and I do enjoy how mean his death is, but definitely shocked me the first time. Jesse is both the brains and the eye candy out of the main characters, and me personally, I always found her to kind of be meh. She does help out a great deal, and she has some flirting going on with Frank here and there, but she is mostly behind the computer in a safe room. I will say, spoilers again, I do find Jesse later in the game as a zombie to be a pretty creepy image, and I would even point her out as one of the creepier zombies in the game, but that's just me. Isabella, if I can remember clearly, is Carlito's sister. She's pretty shady through the gameplay, and she even becomes a rather annoying boss match involving a motorcycle near the end. But I also found her to be a background character and the occasional hiccup. I do like Otis, the elderly security guard that stands near the entrance in the safe room the entire game. The only thing I find annoying is how many times he calls you on the walkie-talkie. You can be going through the most intense moment in the mission and the walkie-talkie rings off from Otis. But for some reason, I did like the character. I do wish we got to see the helicopter guy that drops off Frank near the beginning of the game just a little bit more. You do see him near the ending of the game, but it depends on the ending that you choose, which I want to talk more about. Moving on to the bosses, I would say the creepiest one for me was Adam the Clown. Sure, he's pretty goofy and over the top, and I don't necessarily have a clown phobia, but I would say Adam is a rather unsettling character, and I do find his death to be pretty brutal and hard to watch. And that's coming from a blood and gore hound. I love my blood and gore in movies and games, etc. But Adam's death in Dead Rising is pretty gnarly. When you approach the Wonderland area, he comes at you with chainsaws and knives. And even throws them at you while you try to maneuver around. Ultimately, I use the big ass machine gun that's on the back of the convict's truck that you have to beat. And I use that on the clown. Other memorable bosses and villains are Supermarket Steven. I'm blanking out on his name, but the shotgun store owner, I always thought was a pretty tough boss match. And a very creepy, obese cop by the name of Joe. Moving on to the controls, I do feel a tad bit mixed. As far as maybe the combat system, I still have fun hitting zombies with 2x4s and chainsaws, but sometimes the fighting system can be a little bit wonky from my personal experience. The game does have its fair share of blood and gore, and even some rather brutal moments. If you're trying to rescue a survivor and bring them all the way back to the safe room, but they get killed by a zombie in the process, we go to a cutscene where the survivor goes to a bloody, gory execution from a zombie or multiple. 
Random side note, killing a zombie in the game with a sledgehammer does result in a rather bloody mess. While you're going through the gameplay, you're on a 72 hour time limit until the helicopter that dropped you off comes to pick you up again. How you personally play the game determines on the ending that you get when you finish. And there's about seven or so endings total. So there is a good amount of room to play the game how you want to. It isn't like one of the Telltale games where you get to pick the dialogue for your character. Not one of those at all, but your gameplay actions for Frank do determine your ending. Wrapping it up, I beat Dead Rising a handful of times through the years, the first one I'm talking about, but I will admit I never got to beat number two and I never played three or four. So this review here is speaking for the first installment. But overall, I think Dead Rising 1 is awesome. I have fun with the storyline. I find the zombies and the overall design for them to be rather creepy at times and even unnerving. The boss matches can be tough, but they are fun to play. I like our supporting characters like Brad, Carlito, Otis, and I do think Frank is a solid protagonist. I'm going to give Dead Rising 1 a 9.5 out of 10. And that's it, y'all. It's your boy, Fro Thizzle. If you want more Fro nerdy talk, or if you just want to chime in on the film movie nerd community that I'm trying to build, comment below, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, all that yada yada and all that stuff. And until next time, peace.